Old CTR. We're out here at Red Dirt Roads, customs and classics and all things portable and whatever else he can dream up that day. He's going to do it. He, he just into everything. Uh, go give him a nickel tour of that old 57 back there. Tell us what you got. Oh, uh, it's a 1957 two-door, 210 post car. Uh, Fisher Tag says it's built in Oakland, California. The, uh, well, what have you done to it? Well, I know what you've done to before it. Before I bought it, Mr. Kellett, Mr. Rod Kellett over at All Time Towing and Hollister had it. He had it in his shop for a long time. And uh, he sold to a friend of ours and they sandblasted the car. And then uh, they put it in it. primer, didn't they? Yeah, epoxy. And then I bought the car. And, and this is a rust free car. Brought it home. It's got all the original four pans in it, except the one four board, <coughs> four speed, you know, patch we put in it, which is four speed old. So I knew I was going back automatic. Um, got so Mr. McLaughlin built the radiator for it and the core support. The engine's a 99, 2000 Camaro LS 157 all aluminum block. It's gonna have um, vintage air conditioning, Dakota digital gauge. It's Willwood front disc brakes, got two inch drop on the front. It's gonna have a sway bar for the front of the car. It's got an identical column and I have CCP 600 box power steering and, and uh, CCP nine inch power brakes. Let's see, be four L60 overdrive transmission. The rear end's kind of a spectacle. Nobody, I mean, everybody's looked at it. And, kind of neat it's a Pontiac it came with the car Pontiac it might be it's Pontiac it's uh this car was like you know probably was an old drag car because the rear end and the air shocks it had on it when we got it and the four speed hole cut and they also had a you know big tack holes in the dash we had to do the body work on that to make the dash right again so yeah, I mean, it come from Arizona, so it hadn't sit outside and it hadn't seen a lot of weather, so it's a pretty decent car. It's a basket case, so it's taken me two years to collect all the parts of it. It was missing window garnishments, and trim, belt line trim, all kinds of trim. So we collected all that trim up and had some friends fix it, and we're uh, basically finishing up the wiring and and putting the rest of the glass in it in the interior. Stay tuned for them first start video. Yeah, it's coming. CTR, we out. up out here at red dirt roads that's what we do he come to help me some of the time 
extra set of hands and now we're paying her back or forward or something. I ain't sure how that works. But he owes me a great deal. <laughs> Go out, fella. Get down the side. You don't want to pick up on the hill. Gentle, gentle. We want to walk it this way. come out of a 20s, 30s gas station, and the gentleman that owned it was an upholsterer. And he passed away from cancer, and his, his widow sold the car on Facebook, and we found it on Facebook. It was listed as a sedan, and it was a coupe. <coughs> the picture. So we went down there. <clears throat> it was in the building with a, a early Ford pickup and a 34 Roadster. And a lot of stuff. So we went down there, we dug this car out, took about three and a half hours on a rotten floor. And we had to take it out of a little doorway. It seems to be a small hole right up here in the top, like a bullet went through it. There is a there's a 30 plus, I'd say 45 ACP, maybe larger um, in diameter lead ball impacted the passenger side <laughs> kind of at an angle like you know yeah. they might have been shooting at the driver yeah <laughs> they kind of beat it back sort it's of got the original 21 stud flathead in it still and the and the three speed and looked to me like there was some bolt holes in here holding an old tank down at one time like it might have been hauling some kind of liquid cargo yeah, probably. Yeah, neat old car. A lot of trunk room. That's why they liked all the money showing them. And they were fast. The engine's the first year of the 85 horsepower flathead. Um, the car is, is pretty low mild. The engine's free. The clutch seems to release. Um, we're getting ready to crank her up in a future yeah. episode of CTR. Yeah, we're going to put some brakes on it. Make it run and drive. Hopefully. 
We're getting there. This well, is, I just happened to notice there, Red Dirt Road. There's another 39 Ford Coupe standard sitting right there beside it. Yeah, that one come from Bayville, Arkansas. And that is a kind of a neat thing. It's, uh, the gentleman on that had fabbed in a Chevy engine, small block Chevy, and a rear end and the transmission out of a mid-sized Chevy car in 62. So it's uh, basically an, an Impala running gear fabbed into that Ford frame. And they drove this car on the interstate. It's got coils and trailing arm suspension underneath it out of an Impala. Out of the, in the back, the front's still, the front's still a buggy spring front suspension straight axle. If you'll notice, it's setting up pretty high in the back, like somebody might have been wanting some extra suspension support for, say, a liquid tank in the back for cargo. Something <laughs> valuable. They might have been all of like, I'm betting moonshine. <laughs> I mean, it's got the old pipes out the side. Yeah, that's Set up small block Chevy. Oh, yeah, no hot rod. That car, the interior had been redone. It, it, it's had a restoration on it once in its life. There's, there's, you know, <coughs> telltale signs that it, it's been restored. So we took the motor out of it. The motor's in the shop. It's, it's got a 420 mega blower. Right now. Yeah, and it's blown. built 327 setting in. <laughs> it's built, right, built for the blower. Can't hardly make ourselves put it in one of these. No, well, it, you do have an extra hood for a 39 Ford Coupe standard. Yeah, I don't want to cut one there. I'd run it with this. Neat old cars. I like the teardrop headlights. That's my. That's one of the things with these cars. Is what, I'm a Chevy guy, but the Willys Ford and Ford and Willys has the teardrop headlights. Stay yeah. tuned, folks. You'll be seeing these cars before If anybody before needs long. a Phelps 66 sign lit, it's about three foot. There's one right there. And ask them 400 bucks to come and get it. Sorry for the sales pitch on the CTR, but when you can, you can, right? <laughs>